Hello, my name is Cory Yoder of Coriander Quilts and this is the making of a book series. This is the sixth installment in this series. So if you have missed one through five, why don't you go back and take a peek at those because then this video is going to make a lot more sense. But if you are here, you probably have already watched those first five parts. So we're just gonna dive right in. Now, my last video, um, I think I shared probably about a month and a half ago, so it's been a little bit, and some things, lots of things have happened in this time frame. Um, my deadline is June 1st to turn everything in for this book, so that's creeping up on me. I am really hoping to have all of it done by next week. Today is Saturday, and I am hoping that by next week I can have everything turned in, shipped out, and on its way, so I can check this big project off of my list. My manuscript is mostly done. All of the projects will be done after today. I have one quilt I still need to bind. I'm gonna show you that one here in just a little bit. And I had mentioned I have some secret projects that are included in this book, so I need to finish the last one of those up as well. And then, I think I'm gonna be in pretty good shape to get everything sent off. So what has been happening over the last couple weeks is I have gotten all of my quilts back from my quilter. I got the last one um, two days ago and this week has really just been a week of binding. I had saved, I was working on a lot of other things so I still needed to bind all of those quilts at the beginning of this week but they have all been bound with the exception of the one that showed up on Thursday. I. Um, do all of my binding by machine. So that makes it go a lot faster. I used to do all of my binding by hand, but because I need to bind a lot of quilts, it goes a lot faster doing it by machine. So that does allow me to get those done quickly. I thought I would share with you today some of the final touches I've been finishing up. So the first thing I wanna show you is this quilt. And this is the Solitude quilt. And this quilt is in the category um, quilts that make you happy because they're hand quilted. I hand quilted this one. Um, it took me a few hours, but it's only a 36 inch square quilt. So it didn't take that long to hand quilt. Um, because I know that not everybody who will be buying and using this book is a quilter, I wanted a small project for this category so that if you wanted to try hand quilting, it was very approachable. So this is the Solitude quilt. The other thing that happened is I named all of the quilts. Previous to this video, I would have just been referring to them by the name of their category, but they've all been named and it's always a tricky part for me. Sometimes the names just come and sometimes they don't, but they are all named and this is the Solitude quilt. It's made using Cozy Up fabrics, which is one of my fabric lines for Moda. And you're gonna see striped binding on all of my projects. I love using stripes for binding. I think it just really finishes off the quilt so nicely. Um, the next quilt I'm going to share with you is called Sweet Cake. And it is made using a Sherry and Chelsea line of fabric. This is their Happy Days line of fabric. I'm gonna open it up and try to hold it up here a little bit for you. See what I can do. That's a little peek at this quilt, the layer cake category. And all of the quilting patterns that I had my quilter use for my quilts, I list the names of those in the book as well because I know sometimes when you see a quilt, you just want to finish it maybe using exactly the same fabrics or maybe you choose different fabrics but you want that same quilting pattern. So I always include that information in my book so that you can duplicate that quilting pattern if you want to. This one is a really pretty feather design. So that's a peek at that one. I'm showing you the quilts I finished most recently. The next one is the one that just came on Thursday. So this one doesn't have the binding. This one is in the, um, it's one of, it makes you happy because you made it for a friend. And this was the one that is a two for one quilt, where as you're making the main quilt, you end up with what you need to make a second quilt. So you can make one for your friend and make one for yourself. But this is half of this quilt. And it uses Springbrook fabrics, which I think are just so fun and happy. This is another one of my collections for Moda. Turn it around here a little bit. The background fabric on this one is from my Hollyberry line of fabric. 
that's what that one looks like. And then I will show you the second quilt that you can make from those cutoffs. So this is also Springbrook. And this is what the second quilt looks like. Now this could look a lot different if you wanted to pivot. These are basically just half square triangle blocks right here. Um, and you can pivot those in a number of different ways and they are going to make this look, this quilt look a lot different. But this is the way I chose to piece it. And a little close up look at this one as well. So that's just a couple more of the completed quilts or nearly completed quilts. Um, I'm gonna wait to share the rest of the quilts until a while from now. Um, I'm gonna do a complete trunk show of all of the projects in the book closer to the release date. So it's not gonna affect you guys at all because you're gonna see that very soon. In my time, it's gonna be about a year from now, but you guys will not have to wait that long because I'm going to be releasing these videos shortly before the book comes out. So in the next video, I'm going to be sharing well, I think it's gonna be the next video. I might decide to add something else in there between now and then, but my plan right now is that the next video is going to show you a complete trunk show of the book and the release of the book. You'll get to see the book cover and all those fun things. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now, but like I said, that's gonna be about a year from now and things can change over the course of a year. So after I turn everything in next week, um, then just comes like kind of the technical things on, on my end. I'll need to do some editing once, uh, I'll, I'll do the proofing of the manuscript once Martingale has it and does their part, then it'll come back to me and we'll do some back and forth. Um, they'll be photographing the projects and I'll get to see some of those things. And before I know it, I'm gonna have the book in my hands and then that's when I plan to share again with you guys. So, I think that's all I have for today. I'm excited to share everything in the book with you guys, those secret things I mentioned. Um, that will be fun for you to take a peek at and I have a fun project planned as well to go with the book release. So um, the next time I'm with you, I think there's gonna be a lot of fun things to share. So thank you so much for following along with this series and I cannot wait to show you the final release of my brand new book. So I will talk to you guys later.